First off, I'd like to say is that uh, I probably make the, the, the lousiest politician that's <laughs> running for city council. And the reason for that is the following is that Mayor, 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 Mayor. Mayor. Uh, these two are running for city council. Or, or teacher. <laughs> in any event. The, the biggest issue that you have right now, and what I feel, is that the leadership that we have seen since Paul Tanaka resigned as the mayor, and uh, as I was watching the program on television, I said, there has to be a better direction or a more refreshing direction that the city takes. And part of that takes, and I can tell, because you know, basically you have people that are all vying for the same position. And it's real hard when you're stepping on the people next to you to try to make uh, bigger plans to get things done. The biggest, uh, to me, most important quality in a mayor would be bringing together all the different desperate, not desperate, but desperate parts together such that they are able to work together as a team. Uh, I remember when I first got on city council in 2001, the Boys and Girls Club wanted to come into Gardena right there off 168 in Normandy. And it was standing room only, the residents with we will not allow that in. And I was brand new to the city council, standing room only, I voted against it. And just until about a month or so ago, they have, that has been empty for the last 16 years. The same thing with BHS, Ron Marine, and Van Ness. I am prepared, and we did it before, was to stand up. Remember when the Superior Market came in, and the issue was whether it was a, it's a non-union shop, we can't allow that in Gardena. And there's nothing in the code that says you can't do it. One of the things that uh, people need to understand, and, and I, it's not in defense of Chief Madrano and or the Community Development Department, but uh, Ed Madrano was able to bring together one of the things that says, let's get to yes. Normally, cities say want to tell you, and you know when you go get a building permit, no. Ed has made it his job to how do we go get in the yes. The other part about it is that it's essentially a one-stop location now. Before, you'd have to go to different locations in the city to get your permit stamped. And so as a result of that, I believe that uh, what we have forward, going forward, is this 30-second rule, right? <laughs> 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 and I'll, I'll finish up later uh, uh, when that one drops. Oh, you still got 30 seconds? Oh, yeah, 30 29 seconds. now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it for the last. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you.